join me. It has been good so far. For me, if you ask me that if I knew I would be here to witness this, I will tell you no. In the beginning uh, and where I was, um, for me, witnessing this is, is, is something else, but we give glory to God. From the beginning of 2019 till now, my peak moments, maybe on stage, I haven't, maybe this one. I had a lot of fun, you know, on stage, and the energy was so high. And my lowest moment, I cannot share, but it was quite terrible. It got to a point I thought I was losing my mind. I thought I would actually not see 2020. That was my lowest moment. Like, I was really battling with so many things as a human being. And I, I, I have been able to overcome that, and I'm grateful for it. But my highest, my highest right now on stage, I would say right near, but not off stage. I can't share it with you. <laughs> 2019 has been good to us. We pray, say God, go do more for we all. You understand? I didn't expect it to be like this. But be God. God opened doors for us. They passed through things that happened nice for us. So I pray, say 2020. God will give you life, more life. We'll be spoiled, more bangers. You understand? Yeah. Um, I think that the public will be the best to judge, but for myself, I feel good, which is very important as an artist. You need to feel good that you've done, you've put in enough work. I feel like I've worked. Um, I don't really don't strategize a year, this is what I'm going to do, but it just happens to be that I put out music and the new album is coming out as well. So let's just see how it goes. But so far, I feel good with him. Yeah. Joy FM and Joy News present the Joy Corporate Worship. This is an invitation to Corporate Ghana to join the Joy family to worship God. My name is Steve Mensa, Senior Pastor of CEM. I'm very, very blessed and honored to have uh, a multimedia coming to do corporate worship uh, with us on this coming Friday. We are teaming together, we are inviting everybody to, to, to the Joy Corporate Worship at CEM 10 a.m. on the 6th of uh, December, this coming Friday. It's going to be awesome, and I want you to be there because I will be there and everybody will be there. God bless you. See you there on Friday. Away from Joy Corporate Worship, let's talk about Uncle Bo. Yes, uh, his newest production is out. Uh, some people went to... I see it over the weekend, and we are inviting you to see this weekend as well. So, Uncle Bo, um, of course, our cameras were there. God, you are fired. He's been explaining everything you need to know about that particular play and why you should come see it again at the National Theatre. Tell me, I have nothing to do with this confusion. Hey, master! Hey, master! Hey, master! Master! master. Hey. Look at this down the nose. I'm just great. What's that? Let me touch it. Yes. Let me feel. What do you have to say? What do you have to say? What do you have to say? There's something we all think. Um, if you've been, if you've ever worked with God, related to God, there are things you get disappointed with, you know. His timing is always different from ours. Um, some of the things you are very desperate about, he doesn't seem to come quickly and you often get to the point where you want to say, God, you know what, <laughs> you are fired. <laughs> move away from Uncle Boy and talk about Kitty. Kitty uh, has been in the news for, it's not for the wrong reasons. He had a kid. It's not bad. The fact that he hid it away from the media doesn't mean that it's bad. But Kitty has been sharing with us uh, what he actually enjoys doing. It's live band. You know, I can mention a number of people in this industry who, you know, flow with live band. Stone Boy, Samini. Uh, name them, all of them. Uh, yeah, not that's that's not part of the business. That's not your business. But yes, Kitty says that live ban is something that he enjoys doing. But it looks like uh, some organizers don't really give him that opportunity to express himself. Like he wants to be seen playing the piano, you know, 
jamming onto the song, not just playing the song so that he jams or like he actually wants to sing the song. But uh, that doesn't happen, but it won't deter him from giving you good music. <laughs> I love doing live band, by the way. It's it's more expressive, uh, more than a CD where you have to come in tune and tune and the DJ pulls back. And live band, you can get the chance to have the freedom to do anything you want on stage, change stuff in the song, make the song more lively and all of that. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm looking for a day you won't, you won't come with a full band who are sitting behind you. The you know, I've, in, in, I've been telling Rich Richie, if you are listening, I'm telling you, I want to do this thing too. Like, I want, like, a, like maybe a, a musical world performance where I have like a, a piano, show. And then sing and play, and then let people see the other side too. But I mean, it's like I said, it's a long journey, and there's there's a lot of things coming. Th does that mean they don't per they don't allow you, they don't permit you to uh, do No, it's not them. Way. I don't say it's them because it has, there's a lot that goes into it. Show organizers. Because sometimes a show organizer will invite me for a show, and I'll tell them, as, as part of my act, I want to. To do this, so I'm supposed to provide me with a grand piano, provide me with a this. So, and I don't say, Oh, it's long, long, just, yeah, it happens. Really? It happens. No, me, I won't argue. <laughs> it's long, come in, oh, just come in, oh, just do that. You see, so sometimes we want to do stuff, but then it's oh, just come and do it and do it. But if you know, strip it down. So let's move away from Kitty and uh, go all the way to America and talk about America's girl. Got talent, yeah. Gabrielle Union is in the news. Uh, she just got fired from America's Got Talent, and uh, what's happening is that um, they are actually investigating uh, the reason why she was fired. Well, we got the details here for you. ET has learned Gabrielle's firing from AGT has sparked an investigation by the SAG after union. And NBC just issued a second statement on the controversy. Quote, we are working with Ms. Union through her representatives to hear more about her concerns. And more details are coming out. One report claims that Union was labeled as difficult by Simon Cowell and producers when she complained about Simon smoking inside the theater where AGT is filmed. Add that to the original claims that before she was fired, Gabrielle complained about a toxic culture on the AGT set. She was reportedly told several times that her hairstyles were, quote, too black. And she's got celebrity support. Ariana Grande tweeted, we're with you. Grey's Anatomy star Ellen Pompeo wrote, it's unfortunate that NBC, the same network that protected disgusting men like Matt Lauer and punished women for speaking out, has not changed their practices or culture. And Will and Grace's Deborah Messing slammed NBC, quote, this is disgusting behavior from a network that has been my professional home for decades. Gabrielle tweeted, thanks for the love, so many tears, so much gratitude, just when you feel lost, adrift, alone, you got me up off the ground. That'll be all for our show. I'd like to say a very big thank you to my producer, Michelle, the camera guy, Nat, and to you, the editor, Adam. We love you guys. Uh, it's Christmas. That's why I'm doing this. You know we don't do that on Joy News, but we love you. Please join us same time tomorrow. Let's do this all over again.